I agree that there aren't a lot of good rock bands coming out. Um, I think it's been homogenized, and I think that there's uh, there's too much focus on what people look like and what and not much on what they sound like. Um, but then again, by the same token, I don't take Gene Simmons <laughs> as an authority on anything um, because dude's out of touch, man. And uh, you know, to to be something to to come from a guy like that, I guess it's 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 something that's worth listening to, but. You know, he also doesn't live in the real rock world like the rest of us. He lives in, in Gene Simmons land, and it's and, and Kiss's planet is very different to the rest of ours. You know what I mean? He doesn't get on a tour bus and ride around for, for, for a year at a time. He flies around and has flowers and crap put in his dressing room and stuff. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's a... <clears throat> I do agree that there aren't a lot of bands that are inspiring to me, and, and there aren't a lot of bands that I'm, that I'm going to go out and buy their albums, but there are other bands, like a band... There's, there's a band called King that I'm a huge fan of, um, and... Those guys are just plugging away by themselves, man, and somehow you know, they, they, every single band that they tour with loves them and people are starting to come around to them and that's just that's just because those guys are hard workers and they write good music. So there is still good music out there. It's just that record companies don't have the, the imagination to find it, I don't think. I read that statement and I read uh, uh, you know, some of the details of what he was saying and some of it is true and you know, some of it is like, I don't believe it. You know, it's like, um, I think that you know, if you're passionate about what you're doing and your band, then um, you're gonna find a way. You know, all, all that statement means to me is there's a huge void in rock music for a great rock band. So that to me is like really powerful, and it and it can be whatever you make it, and you know, you got to go for it. What I think is really lacking in rock music are guitar heroes and really great frontmen that, you know really work on the craft of singing and performing and they're not sitting there playing a guitar singing into a microphone standing there doing nothing you know being pretty stagnant the whole show you know i think that we need more rock and roll heroes guys that just shred on the guitar and they take their guitar very seriously you know like eddie van halen like slash like you know all the guys you know angus young like those type of guys because there's a reason for rock and roll solos you know there was a reason for it in rock music and that's to give the singer a break and also to add a, a really cool element to the to the music so um so hopefully that's going to happen again you know because i think a lot of the new rock records are very washed out they're muddy they they lack melody they lack groove they um you know lack songs they have like these the same type of models like if you listen to active rock radio it's like one band after another and you can't tell who is who and you can't tell like what record a song came off of and you know out of like three or four records of, of one band you're like was that like record one or record three and not to name names because i know everybody is out there working hard and being passionate about what they do but i mean that's just way that that's what i feel like when i listen to it you know like Right now, all my new music is all pop. Like, I just think pop is so interesting right now because there's so many great artists out there right now, like Bruno Mars, for instance, you know, and stuff like that. Like, that that's exciting to me. Like, I can't find anything. I have searched to find some really cool stuff in rock, and I just can't find any, like, super great rock records, you know. But So I think there's a real good opportunity for a young band. They're going to have to hustle, and it's going to be definitely harder than it used to be. But... um you know, you just got to think of new creative ways to market your record. I don't think that it's dead, but I do agree that it is harder for bands today to get off their feet just because there's so much out there today and there's just too too much an overload of music that you can just get for free. And people just, you know, they can't, I feel like their attention spans, they're on to the next band in like a month, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, well, I feel, I, I, I mean, it goes hand in hand with what he said, which is, the fact that you know just technology makes it a lot easier to obtain just random stuff and if you're a band the you know the what the amount of effort and quite frankly finances it takes to get a band to sound good it's a fucking it's a it's a labor of love it takes a lot a lot of time and energy to make something sound right whereas you know kids are opening up their garage band on their fucking laptop and they can pump out you know an electronic dance track and that goes off and hey people like it well i should go play a show and fucking dj something it makes it a lot easier for them so you know they don't even have to resort to labels but the labels pick them up because it's easy to sell it and you don't have to worry about the shit that goes on with a band like ours where we're fighting all the time and people have differences of opinion and it, it takes yeah. it's so much harder 
to make our train move and it's really a, a difficult task and to make it happen it's special though and that's why I, I will always love rock and roll and when you see something that's magical happening on a stage between musicians that are specializing this guy's a guitar player this guy's a drummer this guy's a singer and it just like works it's fucking awesome and you know whether or not it's as popular as it once was is irrelevant to me I, I don't think that's the point I think the point is what how you feel inside and what the music does for you and I'm sure there's a lot of other people who still like rock and roll and as long as you have a good band you're gonna have fans so is it dead no is it smaller than it once was absolutely but so is every other form of music so there you go